All right, everyone, welcome back to more Elder Scrolls Online. So we are continuing on with where we left off on episode one. If you haven't caught that already, check the link in the description to the playlist. Uh, there is a playlist that I made. It's going to be super organized. So you can watch it from the very beginning to the very end. So feel free to watch it at your own time. Don't feel rushed to ever catch up. But anyway, with that said, let's continue on with the story quest. So just a little TR, TLDR from the first video. Basically, we're going to be doing 100% finishing up everything here by the end of the series. And overall, it's pretty fun. If you didn't watch the High Isle playthrough or play it yourself, um, I don't think it's really connected to the point where you have to watch it. But some of the characters will be familiar if you do. So with that said, I did leave a link in the description as well to the my High Isle playlist and watch that at your own pace as well but i don't think it's super uh mandatory that you do if you don't want to i literally went full circle around darkness stirs roots tremble druids gather i am the nourisher the sower needed i don't think that's wise free I don't trust the fire song. Fire song. Pulsing. Welcome to the telling stone, my friend. These runes tell the prophecy we call the dream of Kasserain. Almost nothing survives from the time of the Druid King. But we have this. And now free as well. A nature spirit. Called from the green by King Kasserain and hidden with the weird in High Rock. They slept since the time of the last Druid King. Until the Firesong Circle sent an arch druid to find Free and awaken them. I probably know more about the Druid King than any other druid alive, but so much remains a mystery. The Dream of Kasserain describes a mountain shaking and a sower awakening. I think it's talking about Mount Firesong and Free. So much has been lost, so I can only guess. Maybe Arch Druid Orlaith believes the seeds must be united to make the prophecy come true? Until they end their violent ways, though, I plan to keep free a secret. Let's go see what happens at the Dreyfa. The Dreyfa will begin soon. Three archdruids from each circle meet in a dell within the hills across the valley just to the south of here. We should make our way there. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, let's go. Oh god, there's so many quests I gotta pick up. Every time we start a new expansion, it's like, okay, so we're gonna do the story, but every side thing we see, we gotta do as well, but we'll get it done eventually. Just gotta figure out what I'm doing first. So when does console get this, by the way? I I know that console always got the DLCs like two weeks later than PC. But I don't know if they changed that in the past years. The day is upon us. The Draper must crown a new Druid King. Perhaps. But you have no right to claim the sacred seeds by force. You hide your seeds and keep the sower of Kasserain's dream for yourself. You declare this war, not the Fire Song. No Druid King can be crowned until the Circles are united. The Telling Stone is quite clear. This Drefa is a sham. If I must burn away the old to reveal the new, so be it! Dang, it's only like chapter one. We're already starting wars. I'll keep Raval and Alex safe. Thank you, Maylander. Now, go help Laurel and Stefan. Go on! I'll keep watch here. You fought well. Mainland, 
Doctors should death. not meddle in Outsider. Druid affairs. Deal with them, Brenna. You defeated my champion? No matter. That's a Tell Count public? Ronard to stay out of this, or his son's life is forfeit. The Elder Tide will make Orlaith answer for this outrage. She has young Stefan. We must tread carefully, yet, thanks to this mainlander, we still live. We must inform Count Mornard. I won't tell Archdruid what to do. You're welcome, sir. Chapter 1, Starting Wars. Okay, so let's see. Where do we go now? Return to the castle. Got it. Progress is slow but steady. I can't believe the Fire Song betrayed us. Attacking the Dreyfa. How will that bring the circles together? The fire God, I hate using these poisons so much, but I have to uh, get my weekly endeavor done. I'm so and close. Now my son is in their clutches. Yeah, we should. Dulev tells me you played no small part in repelling the dread sails and foiling an attack on the Druid Council mercenary. Has the Fire Song Circle truly made an alliance with the hated Sea Elves? All this trouble over druidic nonsense, and it led to the deaths of four Archdruids? Unbelievable! But I wouldn't expect Sea Elf pirates to bother with an alliance that doesn't pay in plunder. What does Sea Lord Nalos get out of all this? Typical. A druid who doesn't believe in property generously giving away something that doesn't belong to her. When last I looked, I ruled Galen. Did Archdruid Orlaith say what she wants from me as a price for keeping my son alive? I had no interest in druid quarrels until she threatened my son. Blah! <laughs> Stefan warned me something dangerous was afoot. I should have listened. Here, House Mornard always pays its debts. There's more to come if you continue to aid us, mercenary. I refuse to let Galen's enemies dictate my actions. Yet I dare not move directly against the Fire Song Circle or their Dreadsail's friends, as long as they're holding Stefan hostage. What say you, mercenary? Ready to earn some more House Mornard gold? No, I'm good. I don't trust Archdruid or Lath to spare my son, even if she gets everything she wants. I will instruct my knights to stand down. Let her think I am paralyzed by this threat. Meanwhile, we secretly work to save Stefan from the Fire Song. While Archdruid or Lath sees my knights doing what she demanded, nothing. I want you to find Stefan and set him free. Dulef says the Stone Law and Elder Tide Archdruids are here in the city. Get them to tell you where Stefan is being held. I'm counting on you, mercenary. Save my son, and you can name your price. Dulef says Revol and Elec are by the bridge east of Vastir. Talk to them. They know parts of Galen no one else has even seen. They must have an idea where to find Stefan. While the Fire Song call Ifalon home, I suspect Orlaith will keep him close until she acquires the seeds from the other druid circles. He could be on a dreadsail ship, but I doubt the Fire Song would trust their allies with such precious cargo. Respect? Perhaps not. But I left them mostly alone to practice their ancient religion. My biggest problem with them, before the current crisis, was their insistence to hold on to the past. Bretons need to embrace modern ways if we're going to thrive. Yes, but we used to control so much more. My father was the Duke of the Sisters. 
when he supported King Ranser in his war against the High King, Emmerich took the ducal title and awarded it to House Dufort. An unjust and harsh penalty, in my opinion. A hard question, but a fair one. My house has always found it wiser to let the druids take care of their own affairs. Most of them dislike us as it is. Imagine their resentment if Mornards took sides in all their petty disputes. I blame his mother. Visel took an interest in druid teachings when she came to Galen. She shared that interest with our son. When Visel died, well, I could not forbid something Stefan had shared with his mother. Cool. We are slowly but surely collecting all these things and sticker book for the new zone. Ugh, 8 out of 66. So we gotta go talk to the two arch druids now. I don't seem to be making much progress. We really are in the middle of nowhere. Zoss likes to put the NPC objective targets in like the furthest distance. That makes sense. Taking that aroma, folks. Hold up. Oh, we lost. With an urgent task? First twin, then Dreyfadel. My circle takes pride in protecting what we love. War has come to Galen, but we have few warriors left to fight it. How could Archdruid Orle side with those pirates against her own people? Are you suggesting that the Elder Tide have anything to do with the treachery of the Fire Song, outsider? Hmm. One of our druids was captured in the attack on Tuin. I've had scouts searching all over for her, and they tracked the dread sails to Castle Turnier. It's a ruined keep on Galen's northwest shore. The keep is built over an old Eldertide village. A cave at the foot of the bluffs leads to the castle's dungeons. I think they're holding druid Nerea there. As well as Sir Stefan. And I had Nerea hide our seed there before the place was seized. I am trusting you, outsider. Rescue Druid Nerea and keep the sacred seed away from Archdruid Orlaith. Accomplish this, and the Elder Tide Circle will not forget it. Remember, Castle Tonaire on the northwest coast. Ages ago, a Breton coin baron decided he liked the spot. He built his keep on top of an ancient Elder Tide village. My folk lacked the strength to stop him, but we never forgot the insult. A few seasons later, an Elder Tide druid found the cave passage I told you about. He killed the coin baron in his bedchamber. The same thing happened to the next lord who claimed the castle. The place was eventually abandoned, and it fell into ruin. I... do not know. I did not have a chance to speak with her after she returned from Castle Tonnerre. And then, our village was attacked. 
I know Nerea, though. She did as I asked. I am sure of it. The sacred seed. It's the relic they seek. I know how you help the druids at our village. Nerea will resist, but Sea Lord Nalos will break her eventually. I would join you, Mainlander, but my injuries will only slow you down. Laurel blames herself for Stefan's capture. He is dear to her, and to me. I tutored them both when they were young. Thank you again for defending us at the Dreyfer. I just wish we'd been able to save all the Archdruids and not just Elek and I. The trust of the Elder Tide isn't easy to earn. Elek would not reveal the hiding place of the Seed unless he truly thought you might find Stefan in the castle. So, will you truly attempt to rescue Sir Stefan and recover the Elder Tide Seed? Thanks to you and Dulef, I wasn't harmed. My fellow Archdruids weren't so fortunate. Still, we moved our sacred seed to a new location, known only to a few of the Stolnor, and I'm sending Laurel to keep free safe. I pray it's enough. Mount Firesong rises above Iphelon, but its roots extend throughout the archipelago. It gives the islands their hot springs and steam vents, and usually these are curiosities, not particularly dangerous, but this recent activity is concerning. The island is sacred to all druids, but yes, the Fire Song call it home. The Circle's ancient duty is to calm the spirit of the volcano when it grows restless, yet the mountain grows angrier. I wonder if the Fire Song can contain it. Or want to. The volcano is erupting already. Lava vents long dormant on Galen and High Isle now flow with molten magma. The last time the volcano erupted, it caused terrible damage to the islands. Thousands of lives were lost. I pray it doesn't reach that level. Archdruid Orlaith believes in a literal interpretation of the dream of Kasserain. She sees the signs of the season as proof that the prophecy is upon us. That's why she seeks to gather all three sacred seeds and why she wants free. Ah, huh. I see. Mount Firesong has certainly grown more active recently, but Free only awakened due to the actions of the Fire Song. Can one force a prophecy to come to pass? Still, I have a terrible feeling that Orlaith knows something we don't. And that concerns me. Don't worry, I'll fix this. Um. Okay, so go to the castle. Of course, it's uh, out in the middle of nowhere. Don't have a waypoint. Nice, nice. Okay, so let's see. I feel like this might actually be the best waypoint to go to. Kind of wanna discover it just to know when vents are up but then we're not gonna do it unless it's actually up detour we meet again mercenary 
I expected as much. Hold up. Gonna go discover it. Again, mercenary. I expected as much. If you're about to walk up and bang on the front gate, let me stop you right here. The ruins are full of dread sails. You'll never get in that way. Sea Lord Nalo seems to be mustering his forces for something big. Sea Lord Nalos locked up three of my crew. I'm going to free them and kill the bastard. Unfortunately, the Dread Sails are here in greater numbers than I anticipated. Which makes me wonder how you plan to rescue the Lordling they have in there. I saw Nalos and some Firesong Druids arrive with a captive noble in Monard colors. The Druids left shortly after, but their prisoner stayed behind. Now, you're here. Not hard to put wind and wave together. So, what's your plan? A foolhardy rescue attempt? Perfect. Just the diversion I need. That should give me the chance to find my crewmates and confront Sea Lord Nalos. Take your secret path. I'll find another way in. We'll hit them from two directions. If you're heading for the dungeons, I'll scale the walls while you're clattering around downstairs. Once I free my crewmates, I'll see if I can find that sea snake Nalos. You know, this might actually work. He's a traitor and a murderer. The Gilded Blades used to lead the Dreadsail's fleet. We were loyal to King Orgnum and the Piandonian Armada. But Nalos was not satisfied with that. He challenged my brother Sreysa for leadership. Nalos won by using a poisoned blade. Then he promised the Dreadsail's vast riches if they forswore their oaths to King Orgnum and followed him into exile. A coward and a traitor. I will see him dead at my feet. I swear it. Many of the crews I have seen around here are new to the Dreadsail's fleet. I think Sea Lord Nalos is hiring on every band of murderous scum with an itch for plunder he can find. I wonder what he's offering them. Pirates don't gather in massive fleets unless the Sea Lord plans to descend on a large, well-defended port. The only one on Galen is Vastir. It's just a question of when and how Nalos chooses to launch his attack. Seen? No. But I've overheard some of the sentries talking about a druid they're holding somewhere in the castle. Maybe even the same one Nalos took from Suncleft Grotto. Aha. You think that relic he's looking for might be here too? Keep your little secrets then. I don't have any interest in druids or their sacred relics. But if I find something that belongs to them, I'll be happy to turn it over. For a suitable finder's fee, of course. Cool, cool. I think it's down here. I hope. Yeah, I'm getting caught on like everything. Enter the castle. Where are we going? Let's go. Yep. 
the Elder Tide Druid broke, as I knew she would. Ah, uh, the benefits of playing on day one. Everything is, uh, like, dead. Everyone's doing the same thing. Friend, over here. By the green, how did you find me, friend? No, I don't care. I'm just glad you're here. Your timing is excellent. I'm not sure I could endure another round of my jailer's torture. Dreadsail interrogation tactics aren't subtle. They pressed me for information about Vastir, defenses, weaknesses, those sorts of things. Sea Lord Nalos obviously has ambitions in Galen beyond the bargain he made with the Firesong Circle. Not easily. This lock has some sort of arcane reinforcement. You won't be able to pick it. We need the Jailer's Key. He's a fearsome brute called Goriad. His chambers are across the hall to the east. That's how he comes and goes, at least. He might. Or it might be stored somewhere in his chambers. Get the key however you can, but I'll shed no tears if you dispatch Goriad. Got you, fam. Say no more. That war book. Oh, it's fun. Not even worth. You return, and with the key, I hope. Thank you. Now let us speak without the bars between us. Oh, it feels good to be out of that cell. I heard quite a commotion earlier. Something about heads and traitors and kings. Was that your work? The sea elf that hunts others of her kind? Banner at court told me about Suncleft Cove. An unlikely ally. I don't mean to complicate things, but there's another prisoner. An elder tide druid named Nerea. We must rescue her as well. Of course. That explains much. See, Lord Nalos wants to get the seed for the fire song. Obviously, we can't let him have it. Nor can we leave Norea to the cruelty of the Dreadsails. They've been interrogating her for hours. Then we must rescue Norea and get her to tell us how to find the seed. We need to retrieve it before Sea Lord Nalos. Come, friend. The interrogation chamber is through the door to the north. Uh, I think I'm going the right way. Everything looks the same. See Lord Nalos plans to attack Vastir. I guessed as much. Come, let's press on. Time is not on our side. Cut you free, hold on. The seed. They're after the Elder Tide seed. You and Sir Stefan are, are too late. I was weak. I told the Dread Sails about my circle's most guarded secret. Leave me behind and stop them. Before they escape with the Elder Tide relic. The Archdruid sent you? Then perhaps there's still hope. I hid the seat in an ancient Elder Tide shrine below the castle. But Sea Lord Nalos forced me to tell him how to find it. 
If only I'd been a little stronger. There's an ancient tree in the castle's upper courtyard. The door to the shrine lies hidden within its roots. Captain Uldis heads there as we speak. Please, don't let the sea elves take the sacred seed. Go ahead, Mainlander. Look for the ancient tree in the upper courtyard. I just need a moment to catch my breath, and then I'll be right behind you. Yes, there are sea elves held in the castle above. Traitors or outcasts among their own kind, I guess. I saw them once or twice when I was taken for questioning, but I didn't get a chance to speak with them. Is she wearing a belt on her head? Like as a headband? I see. Sea Lord Nalos kept me in the dungeons. I'm sure he isn't holding any sea elf prisoners down here, so they must be elsewhere in the castle. One of the old towers, perhaps. I'll stay with Nero. Ooh, all I really need to know. We'll join you in the courtyard. Ooh, that place looks fancy. How many more? Eight more poisoned. Gross. Mercenary, up here. Captain Aldous entered the next courtyard. I leave her to you. With me, the door to the shrine is hidden in those roots. Somewhere. I expected more, Mainlander. Once I deal with you, I'll break. You can't win. Take the seed, Mainlander. We can avoid the dread sails by using the back exit. Take the seed to Vastir. It will be safe there. That seems like the Go worst place us. to hide it. I'm not gonna lie. Myself. I am Captain Siravane of the Gilded Blades. Sea Lord Nalos escaped me, curse his eyes. I learned two things you should know. The Fire Song also seek the Stone Nor Relic. And Nalos plans to attack Vastir soon. Remember my warning. The Dread Sails are coming for pack. Vastir. worked and you did your part even rescued the lordling and the druid i see sea lord nalos may have escaped my blade again but i got my crew members back better than a leak in the hold i suppose nothing more to tell he's got a massive fleet and it's going to sail straight for vestir he's just waiting for the fire song to provide their support that won't come until they get the stone law relic at least that's what Nalos indicated. Gather more of the gilded blades from wherever Nalos stashed them. Then wait for another chance to kill the bastard. Who knows? Maybe I'll come to Vastir since I know Nalos will be there. As long as we share an enemy, I'm on your side. Shouldn't you take that relic someplace safe? Everyone seems rather concerned about the silly old things. What? You think I need more than these two? Well, you're not wrong. These are two of my officers, Velerin, first mate of the Mad Maiden, and Kovacs, our quartermaster. Sea Lord Nalos imprisoned them because they were loyal to me. They're scattered throughout the Dreadsail's fleet. 
forced to obey Nalos because they think I abandoned them. But once word gets around that I'm ready to challenge Sea Lord Nalos, they'll return to my side. Then the Mad Maiden will sail again. It's the richest port on Galen, overflowing with plunder. Any pirate lord would gladly sack it if they thought they stood a chance. With the power of the Fire Song at his side, Sea Lord Nalos believes he can succeed. He also has a higher ambition. Nalos wants to be king. Once he captures Vastir, he plans to make it his throne. A large port with stout defenses would give him an island kingdom to call his own. And the power to defy King Orgnum and all the fleets of Piandonia. Because he's a disloyal bastard, the warships and warriors Sea Lord Nalos plans to use to further his own ambitions belong to King Orgnum. They're not his to command, nor is Galen his to rule. I'm here to deliver the King's justice. Uh, is that back in town? What I want to do after this is before we, like, assuming this is the final part of the second story quest chapter, I want to discover the rest of the way shrines. I didn't expect to leave that. Nerea tells me you saved her from the dread sails at Castle Tonaire, and that you recovered the sacred seed of our circle. Is this true? I... I can hardly believe it. Too many Elder Tide fell to Fire Song treachery and Dread Sail's blades. I was sure we had lost our sacred seed as well. I'll hold on to this for now. If Archdruid Orlaith wants the seed, she can pry it from my dead hands. After seeing what she did the first times, I think she will. Then we'll give them a fight. The Breton Lords and I have our differences, but they build mighty walls. The Elder Tide will help defend them. You have my word. Oh, young Sir Stefan wants to speak with you. He said to find him at Castle Mornard. Count Mornard and his son are making plans in the throne room, and Sir Stefan wants you there. You should go. Gotcha. Uh, I'll get that quest a little bit later, since I think it's, like, just a side quest. I can't believe the Fire Song betrayed us. Attacking the Dreyfa. How will that bring the circles together? The Fire Song will... My son is returned. A celebration is in order. No, father. The Dreadsails plan to attack Vastir. What? Mere pirates can't breach our walls. Once Archdruid Orlaith finds the Stonelore Seed, the Fire Song and the Dreadsails will combine forces and strike. We must prepare. A storm is gathering, friend. Thanks to you, I'm here to meet it instead of languishing in a dread sail cell. And we managed to save Druid Nerea and secure the Elder Tide Seed. You have proven your worth yet again. Now we make use of the time we have and prepare the city's defenses. Gather allies and do what we can to keep the sacred seeds safe. But no matter what happens, I'm honored to fight by your side. Here, friend. My father wanted you to have this. The Dreadsails think to breach Vastir's walls. Never. But they might have the numbers to overwhelm us, especially with the Fire Song at their side. We need more defenders to stand with us. By the Green, I hope so. The Stone Lore and Elder Tide Druids, they're in as much danger as we are. 
Perhaps more so because the Fire Song want their sacred seeds. We need them to help us defend the city. And that's where you come in. While I help my father prepare the city's defenses, I want you to find the Archdruids and secure their assistance. In exchange, they'll gain a place to protect their wounded and their seeds. Start with Archdruid Raval of the Stone Lord Circle. Archdruid Raval is in the Vine District, the Druid section of the city. He should be able to tell you where to find Archdruid Elec once you secure his agreement to help. Meanwhile, I have much to do to prepare the city for the coming assault. Okay, cool. So, two out of six chapters done. And there's probably like an epilogue or something. So, that's cool. But before we start the next one, what I want to do is actually just discover the... Get the last way shrine up here. Maybe get the sky shards while I'm at it. But one of those two. So we're slowly finishing up the bar. Making some visible progress. How many achievement points do I have? Almost 46,000 of 54. Oh my god. Let's get this uh, Sky Shard first. There are probably like less than 20 people on NA that have 100% achievements in this game. Some of my friends are in like the 50,000 mark, but man, some of them are tedious. Where am I going? I'm with you, my friend. Uh oh. Did I get it? I don't think I got it. It just canceled. I'm gonna die if I jump. Oh, nope, we're good. How do you get there? I'll be right back. I've never met anyone like you before. Great. Oh. I mean, partner. What? Let me get this quest so I don't forget it later. Where I marked your map. But we'll do it later. I hope in Mindy you're safe. Very, uh, different route. Yeah, we'll go get the Way Shrine and then the Sky Shard so we can have those done at least enough. Don't have to think about anything future. Got four out of six point of interest as well. So there's one over there. We could probably knock out or max out three of these bars in the next ten minutes. Three new crafting stations that I gotta set up in my house later.
It's like free XP. Pathfinder. Where the sky shard at? Oh, oh, I see it. But how do I get to it? That's the problem. Just a nice uh, ritual dinner site at the top here. No big deal. All right, so most of these are done. Just have elves. Um, I think these are world bosses. No, that's not world bosses. Um, I don't, I don't know what these are, but I assume that we'll figure it out. Let's go get unlock that next crafting station zone. Let me go back to the way shrine real quick. Yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. I think it's pretty interesting. It's very uh, political. And so is High Isle, so I kind of expected political war. Okay. We'll go discover that, and I think we'll call it for episode two. Made quite a bit of progress. We are discovering a lot of things, getting it done. Always nice to not have to worry about it anymore. And yeah, the map looks more colorful or filled out than before. We still have to do a lot of the uh, vents. But I figure I'll do them later whenever I get to it. But I think we are done for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you tomorrow with episode 3.